So, you can see for the poles, overall, this is a weak side. Okay, seeing and wiring. Slightly some um, tensions um, accumulations. And the tongue looks thin and slim, purple red. Thin and slim normally indicate either blood or yin deficiency. Purple, some stagnation. With little coating and like a tiny cracks. Again, that's the yin deficiency. So you can see it's, 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 a, it's an yin deficiency type of you know, um, pole, uh, tongue and pose. So, this is one. Palpation of large intestine meridian, sharp and unpleasant pain with swelling and spasm muscles upon pressure. So she jumped almost every pressure, every point on large intestine meridian. This is my uh, prescription on her. I believe that was to do with the yin deficiency. So the sharp pain was caused that of a burning yin deficient heat that accumulating in the large intestine uh, meridian. So and then the deficiency causing the constipation. So I, I was using Shen Yi Huang, Xuan Shen, Mai Dong, so this is Zheng Ye Tang, Wu Wei Zi, Shan Yu Rou, Shan Yao, Tai Zi Shen, Fu Ling, Mu Dan Pi, Zhe Xie, Wei Zhi, Ren Dong Teng, Chi Bai Shao, and Ji Xue Teng. You can see what I put. Um, Pretty quiet, looking after every aspect, yin tonic, and blood tonic, and some qi tonic. Yeah, it's different kind of um, um, strengths on different sort of aspects. Obviously, yin was the most focused on. And I was using gui zhi to help to lift up all herbs onto the upper part of the body. And it's a very small amount because that yin deficiency, I don't want to use too much strong herb, uh, warming herbs. <coughs> okay, visit two. She felt much better with the sharp pain. So the sharp pain never come back after the help medicine spouse three or four that five days of medication. Felt back. And hot flushes and night sweat disappeared. Much better bowel movement, but still very unpleasant pain on pressure. But tight and swelling of muscles were better. So visit three, so I'll carry on with her same formula. The second visit. Visit three, aches, never sharp pain anymore. More stiff and tightness with loose bowel movement, four to five a.m. every morning. Because she wakes up very early. So if she wakes up like four, and then kind of toasting about until five o'clock, she gets up. She always like this, she said, many years, every morning. And like during visit one and visit two, how many days? Uh, normally two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Can you two weeks between visit one and visit two? Yeah, and every two weeks she comes for visit. Oh, you not give her like give her a I don't give her a because she's a, a therapist, so she said I'll do massage myself and you know all these. So um, obviously also uh, the cost concern, so she doesn't want to spend too much. Also, she said, I believe my, my arm pain is linked to my large intestine, so she would she rather, she rather do something um, internally to help her to internal imbalance rather than just treating the pain itself. But the main symptom of her is that pain. So, yeah. And so, so dosage is for one day, yeah? Please. No, this is the, actually, the dosage is for two weeks powder. Oh. Two weeks powder. Yes. And, the, yes. and the second or third visit, which is after six weeks, according to your plan, yeah. the, the pain is still there. So why have you decided to keep the same formula? The pain disappeared, the sharp pain disappeared. So, um, okay, tell me what's the difference if the people have a sharp pain or have the achy pain. What, the, what does that indicate to you? Blood status. Achy pain could be well, the sharp pain could be blood stasis, but if your pain goes from being sharp to being just achy, that's an improvement. That's the kind of, like, I don't know, do you ask your patient to grade their pain out of 10? Yeah, but I, don't, I didn't ask this patient, yeah. this lady, because that's different nature of pain. It's already yeah. indicating things to me. Sharp pain normally indicates excess. Yeah. 
achy pain normally indicates the deficiency. deficiency. Yes. Yeah, to me, the sharp pain when wham means deficient heat. The heat is a kind of an excess, disappear. So that's a good sign, improvement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she feel better, energy better, bone better. She was very happy. So I'll stay with the same for the second visit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the well, third with it, she still carry on because I was expecting because that was already tonic uh, formula. I wanted to this to carry on filling up the the, the weaknesses, deficiencies, the the, the formula. Um, but if you look keep looking, you know what I found later. Okay. So this one, so the sharp pain wane, the third visit is sharp pain wane, but the achy pain persevere. Okay. Then she started to feel more tired with loose power. And I was using cupping on the meridian. The cupping, there's no any cupler left on the, on the meridian after like 20 minutes or 30 minutes of cupping. What does that indicate to you? That it's not deficiency. Yeah. It's deficiency. So it's nothing really to do with the blockages. Yeah. Right. So. Did you, uh, did you ask her about the cause of the pain? She said it's been with her for many years. She doesn't know the cause. Okay. Yeah, it's not to do with like heavy lifting or anything like the damage of it. Um, it just it just can. She said, I don't know. I can't remember what's um, causing the problem. Okay. So the second time, very similar. Using Shen Di Huang, Di Gu Pi, Mai Dong, Wu Wei Zi, Dan Shen, Shen Yao, Gui Zhi, Fu Ling, Mu Dan Pi, Ji Xue Teng. So, I think, looking back now, when we get good results from this patient, looking back now, actually I made a mistake on business three. Do you know why? Do you know why? Anybody knows what's the mistake I made? The, the, the addition of Bai Shao. Anybody else? Yeah, I think... <clears throat> Obviously, because later on she continued to have loose bowels, you over supplemented the in. Mm. You're correct. Yes. Yeah. Is it that was too much? She couldn't. Obviously, wasn't assimilating it. That's right. Uh, I'm just I'm, I'm by accident. I do one more. <laughs> That's correct. Because actually, she shows a lot of chi deficiency type of uh, um, signs. So we never really looking for. You know, the first stage, we're using qi, small amount of tai shen, because I was, I was thinking if a great uh, the uh, one qi or dance would be too warming for her. So I was over-cautious about her in deficiency. Yeah, so again, um, I wasn't really focusing on um, the what you discovered from the, from the meridian, actually. When I further doing more meridian palpation, I found more about this. So um, the, I, I still believe that was the yin deficiency which is actually wrong. So that actually shows up a little more chi deficiency, but still something more you need to discover. Okay, so I'll show you the later on. Okay, um, so this is the third visit. This is four, still the same. Palpation found very weak and empty large intestine meridian. More tired, stiff with lower back pain and looser bowel. So at this stage, okay, we do notice the meridian Large intestine meridian, very empty, very hollow, and the symptoms all have chi deficiency. Now, so, at this point, I was using Dang Shen, Bai Zhu, Fu Ling, Zhi Gan Cao, Dang Gui, Bai Shao, Shen Di Huang, uh, Chuan Xiong, Ge Gen, Xiang Fu, Gui Zhi, Shen Jiang, Da Zhao, Sun Zhao Ren, so actually I was using Ba Zhen Tang and Gui Zhi Tang. So the reason for me to use that, okay, actually, so Gui Zhi Jia Ge Gen Tang. So this actually, I was using because I realized large intestine meridian is the yang ming, bright yang meridian. Bright yang meridian is rich in qi and blood. If that feels very hollow, that means not enough qi and blood. Therefore, I was using qi and blood tonic with the guiding formula and that, let's see how she feels. This is for five, much better. No sharp pain, eight, and background soreness, much reduced. So, very much reduced. Morning stiffness, great. 
Only feels arms and legs were weak in the morning, but disappear after exercises. Bowel movement firmer, but with a little thirst. Sleep much better. No early waking as much. Overall, the best week for a long time. Looks, the chin and blood tonic towards the right direction. But also, you need to bear in mind that you still have yin deficiency, as well as dampness retention. Yeah. Where does that show the dampness retention? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where does that show the dampness retention? Um, bowel movement firmer but with a little dust. The little dust only just means the yin deficient, I would say. Could be the third. Um, the arms is that the arms and legs were weak in the morning after exercising. Right, so the symptoms, people feeling tired, feeling very difficult, sort of struggling in the morning, could be either chi deficiency or dampness. Sometimes could be cheese um, stagnation. Yeah, chi deficiency doesn't improve by exercises. If the morning stiffness or morning tiredness, but dampness and cheese stagnation can be improved by exercises. So to me, improved after exercises is a sign of stagnation. I believe that's to do with dampness issue. So. Conclusion for, the, for this case study. Um, that's the writing of the Lin Shu. They say, Si Bi Zhe, Bi Xian Qie Xun Qi Xia Zhi Liu Jing, Shi Qi Xu Shi, Ji Da Luo Xue Jie, Ar Gu Tong, Ji Xu Ar Nai Xian Kong Zhe, Ar Tiao Zhi, Yun Ar Tong Zhi, Xi Qi Jie, Zhuan Yi Ar Xing Zhi. He said, in Zhou Bi, uh, the, the Lin Shu um, Spirit Ethics, um, Zhou Bi, Chapter they said, means people who is treating or oh, acupuncture treatment for B syndrome. means must palpate along the following six meridians. Mm -hmm. Look at the deficiency and excess. And the big raw meridians, blood stasis, and the blockages. And deficient and hollow empty uh, meridians, and adjusting. Yun <coughs> Atongzi, Yun means the warming, so moxa, a warming to open it. Ji qi jie, the blockages. Zhuan yin are Zhuan, rotating, yin, stretching, are xing to, to move it. It means you do also, you need to use moxa if you do found that is hollow, that is um, deficient meridian, you use a moxa, you use a warming method. And then if you do found that is a blockage, say spasm muscles or the uh, nodules, you need, you need to do this movement to move it. So what's it's actually later, later time that people talking a lot about the dong qi zheng fa. Yeah, so moving the qi needling technique means you're wearing the needles, while well, needles needle needles on you, you ask the people to do the movement. Yeah, so this is in the fuzhen, they come to a and then they call it But Chinese, uh, the the acupuncture, Fuzhen is another style that they have like Shaoxan, which is like movement, shallow skin, under skin's movement, and they ask people to do the movement uh, long. And China, uh, the, the traditional Chinese acupuncture, you do also have the Dong Qi Zheng Fa, moving Qi, moving Qi needling technique. So you, you do the needles on the local area, ask patient to move, to be able to unblock the, <coughs> um, the congestions. So actually, um, spiritual ethics, already talk quite in details about you know what to treat and actually they emphasize the excess and the deficiency. What I found late, later on is um, nowadays doctors, rather more than Chinese doctor technique, a lot of technique doctors, they focus more a lot more on the blockage. They all believe when they find oh muscle tight and you know this is oh inflammation, this is um, blockage, so but sometimes, even with this, 
in my help for 